pressing through the balls of the feet on the jump board. Press the carriage out, extending the hips and knees. Return the carriage in, flexing the hips and knees. Heels lower to the jump board if they can. Try and maintain that position as far as possible on the return. Exhale to press the carriage out. Inhale to return. Maintaining a laterally rotated position. Avoid over abducting through the knees. Maintaining neutral throughout. Trying to keep the whole foot on the jump board. Press out, making sure that the heels stay into the jump board as long as possible. As you exhale, press the carriage out, extending the hips and knees. Inhale to flex the hip and knees, slowing down to try and maintain the heels as much on the board as possible. Keeping the pelvis neutral throughout, this will bring a challenge to the back of the legs stretching through the calf tissue. Pressing through the balls of the feet, maintaining a plantar flex position, heels raised. Extend the hips and knees to press the carriage out. Flex the hips and knees to return and control the carriage back in. Exhale to press the carriage out. Inhale to return. Keep the heels floating in the same position throughout and maintain neutral through the spine and pelvis as you push and pull. Starting with the balls of the feet on the jump board, ankles plantar flex, press the carriage out, extending the knees and hips. With the legs straight, lower the heels, then bend the knees and hips to return the carriage in. Pressing into plantar flexion as you exhale, inhale to lower the heels and return. You can also do this in reverse, starting with the whole foot on the jump board, press the carriage out, rise up, lifting the heels, Return the carriage in, then lower the heels before you press back out again. Rolling and articulating through the feet in preparation for jumping. Keep the spine and pelvis neutral throughout. Starting with the ball of one foot on the jump board, other leg in tabletop, press the carriage out, extending the hips and knees and lowering the foot to the jump board. Inhale to flex the knees and hips to return the carriage in. Exhale to press away, keeping a neutral position and knees and hips and ankles aligned in a parallel position. Avoid rotation and lateral shifting through the pelvis. This exercise can also be done in a laterally rotated position with both the supporting leg and the jester leg. With one foot on the jump board and the other leg in tabletop position, press the carriage out, extending through the hips and knee on the supporting leg, maintaining tabletop through the gesture leg. Return the carriage in, flexing the supporting knee and hip, 
and reaching the gesture leg across the jump board, straightening the leg out. Inhale as you press the carriage out. Exhale as you return the carriage in. Breath could be reversed. As you press the carriage out and in, maintain a neutral position through the pelvis, avoiding rotation or lateral flexing. This exercise can be done in a laterally rotated position with your supporting leg and with your gesture leg. Make sure in this position the pelvis stays neutral and we avoid over abducting through the legs. Starting with one foot on the jump board, other leg in tabletop position. Push the carriage out, extending through the supporting knee and hip, at the same time extending the knee and reaching the foot up towards the ceiling. As you return the carriage in, flex the supporting knee and hip and bring the jester leg back into tabletop. Inhale to press the carriage out, exhale to return. Maintain a plantar flex position on your jump board foot and keep the pelvis in a neutral position avoiding rotation or lateral shifting. As you extend the gesture leg, make sure that the leg is in the hip throughout. This can be done in a laterally rotated position with the supporting leg and the gesture leg. <laughs> 